Hey, how's it going today? So, I was reading some of the comments uh, from different people. Uh, one, one lady, was her name Linda? She said she has COVID now, and so the, the tinnitus is worse, but she said, thank you for the video, and it's good to be hopeful about the future. Absolutely, absolutely. And then, because it, you'll get better again. And then what else do we have? We had... Um, one person, Mixmeister, I think his name is, uh, was saying that um, his tinnitus is, uh, has 30 spikes a day, so it's hard not to think about. So I don't have that problem, but I'm just thinking it's something where we have to recognize that it won't harm us. I mean, hopefully you've been to the doctor, they told you you're okay, but you have a sound. So even when it makes a louder noise, we, we just say, okay. Is, I'm okay, nothing's going to happen to me. And by not recognizing the spike as something that is going to harm you, I think the brain may be able to, in the future, even tune out the spikes a little better. But they may still happen. You know, may not be able to stop that entirely. Um, so, yeah, um, I guess that's the important thing, is to realize it won't harm us. Um, Assuming you've been to the doctor and they told you you didn't have a tumor in there or something, which most people don't, um, and it's just one of those things where we have a sound and our brain has this weird way of making a sound that we we can't control. There's a there's a a noise that a, a pitch range, you know, maybe like twelve thousand, thirteen thousand, fourteen thousand megahertz. Uh, you can Google that, by the way. It just uh, Google on YouTube or, or search on YouTube uh, 13,000 megahertz or 12,000 megahertz and see if you can hear it because that's often the case. You can't hear the sound. So your brain decides that it would like to replace that sound you can't hear with a sound. And that's the problem in most people's cases. So, um, but we can get where we learn to tune it out and we don't notice it very much. Um, I've got it there. I, I, I think it's kind of there. I'm kind of listening for it, but I don't want to do that. So I'm not going to waste my time thinking about it. I know it's kind of there, but I sort of like, I don't know how to say it. it's over there in the other room. <laughs> I've put the, I've taken the sound and I've said, okay, let's put it over there in, in another place in our brain where I don't think about it. And I, I, it's kind of not there. I don't need to think about it. I put it in the other room now. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's just a way of thinking about it. But anyways, uh, I don't think I don't think I made any real clear points. I just rambled on this video. Oh well, um, it's a nice day outside today, and uh, I'm, I'm enjoying the um, enjoying the pool. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm fortunate to live at a pretty nice place with a beautiful pool, and I've got this. I don't know if you can see it. That water behind me, and it makes a shh sound which helps me to tune out the tinnitus maybe you can find a place uh, near where you live where you can hang out and there's a little bit of a background noise and you can um, you know enjoy your time there so okay well have a wonderful day and uh, keep going tinnitus warriors <laughs>